hello to all today we will be going to discuss about the paroxysms now paroxysms are the micro bodies which are found in the cells they are called as micro bodies because they are too much small and these micro bodies were first of all discovered by a scientist known as the tolbert in the liver cell okay and though they were discovered from the liver cell but they are also found in the plants okay earlier it was known that they were found in the animals but later it was found that they are also found in plants also so we can say that these micro bodies or the paroxysms are found in plants as well as animals and in plants they are found in the green cells and in animals they are particularly found in the liver in the kidney cells okay now they are very small micro bodies which are having the size of 0.1 micron means their diameter is too much small okay and the number of the paroxysm number of the paroxysm per cell varies in between 70 to 100 okay and if we talk about the origin of the paroxysm so these are originated from the er or the endoplasmic reticulum okay not only these the paroxysms are bounded by a single membrane okay we can say that they are single membrane bound structures okay and they are spherical means they are round in shape and they are sac like okay so they are spherical sac like structures now the question arises that why the paroxysms are given this name okay so they are given the name paroxysm because in them certain we can say it as that hydrogen peroxide is formed right hydrogen peroxide is h2o2 okay that's why they are called as what the uh, paroxysms and the h2o2 that is the hydrogen peroxide is highly reactive it is highly reactive and it is also called as a toxic oxidizing agent means these uh, peroxides hydrogen peroxides are toxic for the cell because they are highly reactive okay now you must also know that in the paroxysms certain enzymes are found okay the very first important enzyme is the glycolate oxidase okay whenever we study the photorespiration then in the photorespiration this enzyme participate okay this enzyme participate in the conversion of the glycolate into glyoxylate okay this enzyme converts glycolate into glyoxylate right so it is associated with photorespiration now the next is the catalase enzyme next is the catalase enzyme now what happens that when glycolate is converted into glyoxylate right with the help of this enzyme glycolate oxidase during this what happens that h2o2 is formed during this h2o2 is formed okay so the h2o2 is a toxic oxidizing agent and it is highly reactive so what happens the another enzyme found in peroxisome known as the catalase actually show the lysis of this hydrogen peroxide and this hydrogen peroxide by this enzyme is converted into water and oxygen not only the glycolate oxidase and catalase enzymes are found in the peroxisomes but certain more enzymes are found such as the glyoxylate reductase amino transferases and the peroxidase enzymes are also found now you must know that these peroxisomes are specially found in the c3 plants as we know very well that plants are basically of two categories c3 plants and c4 plants okay maximum plants on this earth are c3 plants so the paroxysms are found in the c3 plants only okay and these paroxysm in c3 plants are associated with a wasteful phenomenon known as the photorespiration as it must be very much clear that when we study the c3 plants then we always say that in c3 plants photorespiration occur now photorespiration is a wasteful phenomenon which never occur in the c4 plants it only occur in the c3 plants 
and due to photorespiration what happens the photosynthetic yield is decreased up to 25% and that's why the C3 plants are less efficient plants than the C4 plants. In C4 plants the wasteful phenomenon photorespiration does not occur and hence they are efficient plant. In nutshell what I want to say that peroxisomes are specially found in C3 plants and they are associated in these plants with a wasteful phenomenon and that is known as photorespiration. Whenever we study the photorespiration then you can see that photorespiration is completed in three cell organelles. One is the chloroplast, the second one is the paroxysome and the third one is the mitochondria. So of course the paroxysomes are associated with the photorespiration. Now in animals also, in animals also paroxysomes are reported and in animal cells they are actually specially found in the liver and the kidney cells. They are specially found in the liver and the kidney cells. Okay. And not only this, luciferase enzyme. A luciferase enzyme is there, right? It is actually present in the fireflies. Actually, fireflies produces what? Light. So the luciferase enzyme is generating the light in the fireflies. Okay. So this enzyme is also associated with the paroxysm. Right? So the luciferase enzyme is responsible for the lightening of the fireflies. Now, at the last we must know about the function of this microbody paroxysm. So photorespiration in C3 plant, the main function of the photorespiration is that they are associated with a wasteful phenomenon in C3 plants and that is known as the photorespiration. Not only this, they are associated with lipid metabolism in animal cell. Means in animal cell, they are associated with the lipid metabolism. They are also associated with oxidation of amino acids and the uric acid. Again, I am repeating. They are also associated with the oxidation of the amino acids and the uric acid. And at last, you can see that these peroxisomes also participate in the oxidation of long chain fatty acids. Long chain fatty acids are long chain fatty acids means they uh, they can oxidize the fatty acids which are having more than 18 right more than 18 fatty acids so they participate in oxidation of long chain fatty acids they are also responsible for the synthesis of the cholesterol and the synthesis of the bile acids in the liver and they are also responsible for the synthesis of the phospholipids in the brain tissues okay so dear students this was the complete video on the paroxysomes and along with their functions okay we'll be coming with new more videos okay based on the microbodies say for glyoxysomes and spherosomes also so keep watching my videos thanks a lot